Hitler did cocaine. What do you get when you mix a black bear, white powder, and a script straight out of SNL? Either a critical hit or a commercial flop. Let's find out. But before we get too far in the video, if you guys could leave a like on this video, it really helps me out. I'm trying to fight the beast that is the YouTube algorithm. So make sure you leave me a like. Elizabeth Banks is back in the director's chair for the third time. Her last film was 2019's Charlie's Angels. And that film didn't go so well with the fans. How does this film fare? Well, I'm gonna say up top that it did feel like a movie that should have been gone straight to streaming, but it had good comedy. I enjoyed the comedy of the film. I thought it was funny. I liked the actor in it the guy that played Han Solo um, O'Shea Jackson jr. and the little girl character Carrie Russell's character I didn't really feel like needed to be in the film at all so that felt like it deterred from the movie it had a lot of people in the film so it was fun to see that she gave a lot of actors some roles to play and a lot of jobs that part I did like but a lot of the characters they serve no other purpose other than just to be cannon fodder for the bear or should I say cocaine fodder and yes Ray Liotta was good in the film but what did you expect he's a great actor and may he rest in peace the gore was great at first I thought it wasn't going to show a lot but then you know it really started to show what this bear is doing to these people the CGI was good so it felt like an overproduced streaming film so I hate to say it but yeah it felt like this movie would have been better served off as a streaming film on Hulu that's where I could see this film really shining at um, as far as the theatrical release I just didn't feel it for theatrical I think what happened was after the passing of Ray Liotta they said hey let's put it in theaters we saw that the trailer went viral it just didn't really sit well as a movie I'd go out to see maybe at matinee price for sure but this definitely will find a great home in streaming I'm thinking Hulu could pick this up and this would be really good but as far as movie theaters go maybe not so much so I'm gonna have to give this six and a half polar bears if you know what I mean out of ten what did you think of the movie did you like it did you love it did you hate it did you even see it let me know in that comment box below and for more news and movie reviews why don't you check out our review for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania and for everything else you're already in the right place CPG Beth we should go